Alrighty then, so now what we're going to go over some really important array functions. Uh, these will become extremely vital to be very proficient in once you start looping and really important when working with any type of arrays, especially with sizing them. So the way to do this is that we're going to be using the L bound and the U bound functions. And these take two arguments and they return an integer value. So L bound stands for lower bound, U bound stands for upper bound. And the syntax for L bound and U bound are the following. You first take the L bound, you put whatever your array name is in there, and then you put what dimension you want to be looking at. U bound is the same exact thing. Uh, this is just like one example. You just switch the L to the U. And the dimension, it's a natural number and refers to the dimension of the array. All right, so these are really important with looping with arrays. I already said that, and we're gonna work with this program so you guys can actually see what the hell these things do. So going to VBA, we're gonna mock up this program. My awesome L-bound and U-bound program. It's a really long name. Let's dim a static array, and I'm just putting in random numbers here. And the data type really doesn't matter for the example we're showing. So we're going to use debug.print again to show this. And again, the syntax, once we're using this L bound function here, we take the array name and we look at what dimension we want to look at. So dimension is what we're looking at. This one will be the first one. This one is the second one. This one is the third on, third one, and so on. And I'm just going to copy this because I'm not going to type it. And I'll just make some edits from there. Change the two, three, and I'm changing this L to be U. All right, so this is our program. Now stepping through this, uh, look at this immediate box here, uh, just to show you guys exactly how this is working out. Go F8. We're printing the size of this four by five by 10 array. The lowest bound here is a one. Uh, that's this one right here that's being represented. Then a four, one, then five, and then one, then 10. And kind of looking at this now, probably making this all one doesn't really make a lot of sense or help differentiate it. So I'm just changing this here, I'll show you the same program. One, four, two, five, three, ten. All right, so the way you kind of actually use these functions in a loop, I'll just show you guys real quick, even though you guys might not know this. What this loop will do right now, and I just got to change this value. this array. So first we're filling it with A, B, C, D. See this right here. Now it's going to say go from the very first element to the very last element and we're going to print this array out. Which you can see right there. So once that loop is done, it's over, voila. Uh, 